kings and queen. Now, usually I do an intro to my video, but I don't think for this one it will be necessary. However, if this is your first time to my channel, my name is Kim Banks, and it's the perfect place for anyone looking to persevere. I was doing some research and something took me by surprise. Now, it says that the global lifespan is 70 something odd years. Now, I did the calculations and it shows me here that if you live for 72 years, that 72 times 365 days equals to 26,280 days. Now, to me, it seems like a small number. I mean, a lot of people have more than that when you equal, you know, equate that into a dollar amount. When you think of it, that you only have 26,280 days to live, how does that make you feel from birth to the age of 72? Now, me, I'm already 25, so that means that I've used a good amount of chunk of my of, of my days. However, if I live my life again, I will only be 50 years old, and then I will be able to somewhat live my life a third time. How much time do we really have? I don't say these things to be daunting. I don't say these things to be negative. I say these things to let you know that, yes, time is on your side, but understand that the time is limited. Now, you can go and live beyond that, but the average lifespan is 72 and a half, so most people don't see longer than that. Some people don't even see 25. You have no time to be afraid. You have no time to make excuses. There's no time for you to feel sorry for yourself. There's no time for you to, you know, be the victim, to, to have self-pity, to have self-hatred. 26,280 days that are almost guaranteed to you. So every day that you waste feeling down on yourself, that you are your worst enemy, that you are not your biggest fan, that you're not your biggest supporter, that you're not allowing yourself to push past your fears and push past these imaginary obstacles, then you are forsaking yourself that you have abandoned your gift, you've abandoned your birthright, you've abandoned your purpose. You're here for a reason. Everybody here in this world was made with a gift. We're all here with a gift and we all have a purpose. There is no time to be afraid. It is pivotal that you understand that your self-knowledge, learning yourself is your first mission. And the faster you complete that is the faster the you can follow and find your purpose and understand the values that you have as an individual, that you can go off in this world and build your legacy and leave something behind for you, leave something behind for your family and the generations to come after you. You have to understand that you're, this is not a game here. You're not here for fun. You're here because you were sent here. You have a purpose. You're supposed to bring blessings to this world. We all have a gift and you have to understand yourself first that, so that you can properly use your gifts so that you can be a value to people and so that you can leave something, a legacy behind for the generations to come. Now we're all dealt different cards and some of us were able to, we were fortunate enough to be born into a legacy, but some of us have to create something from scratch. And it's important that you take heed and take advantage of the time that you have while you're here so that you can do that. Your life is not necessarily one that you're living for yourself. Your life is already a service to your your, your children, your grandkids and, and, and the rest of your family so that people can continue to build and grow off of what you create for your family. You want to leave something behind that shows you existed, that shows that you were in this world and that you made an impact in some sort of way. You want to show that you leave your footprint here on this world. Leave your footprint and leave a trail. I tell you these things out of love because I, I want to see you become the best version of yourself. I want to see what you have to offer the world. I want to see what type of value that you can add to the people around you. So it's, it's, it's very important that you wake up. It's very important that you don't continue to sleep on yourself. It's very important that you understand the true value and the true blessing that you are to this world and to the people around you. So again, kings and queens, let's continue to rise. Let's continue to persevere. And that's every day, remain positive, you know, stay focused, be blessed and spread love and value to the people around you so that we all can grow.